la, la verdad. Reputation, one hundred thousand. What's your verdict on your cash court game? Feeling quite positive. Are you a lucky person? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Feeling good about today. Yes, I am. Hello. Uh, well, I was feeling really good, but I must admit the death of the guinea pig has been. <laughs> A little bit sad. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. He was horrified to hear that. He does think he'd get on with your friend who gave you a terminally ill guinea pig as a gift. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend. Oh, ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's a spectacular way of sending a message, isn't it? <laughs> of course I love you, dear. No, it's going to be fine. Look, it'll move. <laughs> Look, it's sleeping. <laughs> the first thing he's offering yeah. is a tiny floral tribute <gasps> for Wolfie. <laughs> and then two thousand pounds. For hang on! <laughs> Hold it! For each of your furry friends that are still with us. <laughs> 6,000 pounds. Very healthy offer. Yeah, it's a good offer. Because you could have punished me more for taking out the 100 grand. Yep. So, you know. Do you believe in all this stuff? It's like lucky feathers? I do, actually. Oh I didn't before I came here, but... Watching it now, so I've seen 27 shows go by. Um, yeah, and because it's from Gabrielle as well. She's my new adopted grandmother. She's lovely. <laughs> She's lovely. She is lovely. <laughs> I think I'm ready for the question. Jolly though. good. Yes. Opening offer with the floral tribute. Yes. £6,000. Deal or no deal? It's a good offer, but... No deal. Thank you. Stella, number five. Sorry, you're really lovely. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Stella. gets wider. 75,000. <laughs> How are you doing this? Just instinct. Go yeah. in for which ones sort of jump out to me, really. But... Tough? Yeah, it is tough. On time? Yeah. I could, please. <laughs> We're going to have a break, but do come back. I'm just going to make a phone call and check that the rabbits are all right. <laughs> See you in a while. Hi, I'm Stella from the West Wing. These three boxes... Welcome to Laura's game. Yep, welcome back to Laura's game. So, it's OK at the moment. Yeah, it's not too bad. We just don't want to do any more damage to the remaining three of the Power Five. Keep that block there. Have you made your mind up in the brick? Julie, 19. Julie, and you know what's happening now, don't you? You know the question that's coming. No. 
bearing in mind the photograph of the fancy dress bunny girls, <laughs> I have to ask, were you really a bunny girl? Yes, I'm Playboy's baby bunny. I'm the world's smallest bunny girl. Really? Mm. And did you take all your clothes off in the magazine? <gasps> did you want to see where the staple went? <laughs> <laughs> So that'll be a yes, then. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking the banker at this moment is... He sent Pennyworth up to the loft to start going through some of his old magazines. <laughs> OK. Box number 19. Please. Not the big one. Yucky does. It's not perfect, it's not ideal, it's not the strongest game we've ever had in the history of Deal or No Deal, but at this point, it ain't bad. No. Comfortable? Yes. Hello. He says, hello. <laughs> hello, Julie. Hello, Banker. Or, actually, he moved on to say, should I say, hello again? <laughs> <laughs> you do that dip thing. Hello, I'm your bunny, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it, bunny? Go on. My <laughs> <laughs> goodness, he stepped into the darkness to do that. <laughs> I mean, he plays mind games, particularly when there's somebody here. This is Gaynor, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hello, Gaynor. I haven't Very said hello to you. Gaynor. Hello, hello Gaynor. Hello. Yes, I mean, we're used to him playing mind games between a supporter, friend, partner or whatever, um, and the main player. But he's now t talking about the ghost of Wolfie. Right. Looking down upon you, advising you you should take this offer. It's OK. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And, um... The offer is £11,000. Very good offer. It's an extremely good offer. Can I ask for some advice? Yes, by all means. Craig, what do you think? It's a good offer. Mm -hmm. It's nice enough, yep, but quite a nice board. Nice chunk there in the middle, the reds, and the big one's still there. Yeah. Laura, un unlike Wolfie, he is very healthy. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should uh, just carry on. Yeah. Mom. It's such a good offer. It is. But I think you've made your mind up. I think I have. Go on, ask me the question. 11,000 pounds, Laura. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Jennifer, number two. Look, Laura. Twenty thousand pounds. I hope this is a blue for you, Laura. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Another one of the power five, 35,000. <laughs> Funeral parlour is managing without you at the moment, is it? <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. What a round! Fifteen thousand's gone now. And the whole complexion of the game changes enormously. It was so reassuring to have that there, and that is uncanny the way it's all gone. Now. 
quarter of a million, still in play, 50,000, still in play, but then a huge drop. Talk to me. <laughs> We've still got the quarter million and the 50, and there's loads of blues there. Yeah, so. there. Yeah. Right. Let's believe it's there. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be happy. Hello. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I thought that cheered you up. He recommends we avoid further tragedy and you now depart with out the box but with eight and a half thousand pounds. He's put you down from 11. It's a good offer. Yeah. For what I knocked out in the last round. You've got a lot of places you can go. Yeah. Five thousand downwards. If you had a round now, Without touching 50,000 or quarter of a million, it would crank back up again. Yeah. But eight and a half is real money. Really depends where your ambitions lie and how courageous you're feeling on this <laughs> Sunday afternoon. I can ask some advice. Yes, who do you want advice from? I can ask my friend Gaynor. Gaynor! <laughs> what do you think, honey? To be honest, Lars, I know you had a figure that you was coming with. <coughs> However, eight and a half is, I would say, it's quite a bit. Let's go if you got feeling, mate. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. It's hard. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Eight and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. See you all smiling, guys. Come on. Right. Andrew, number ten. Andrew, welcome to the game. Just yeah. before you open the box. I know you're very, very happy for me to broach this subject. Yes. One of the wonderful things about Deal or No Deal is that it's open to anybody. And you're blind? Yes. So you're getting assistance from Gabrielle and Don as yes. to what's going on? Yeah, that'd be very good. Excellent. Excellent. I think you're an inspiration to other people. And we'd now like you to do something very nice. Yes. And your first box <laughs> opening to be remembered for all the right reasons. Yes. Andrew, please open box number 10. I hope this is a blue for my fellow Welsh top. dragon. Catch on the top. Yes! 50p. 50p. <laughs> I like to catch on that trigger. Can we find the 1p and the 10p? George, number 15. George, it's with you. I certainly hope it's blue. <laughs> it's getting more difficult. No. It's an amazing thought. For ages and ages and ages, it was for months, the quarter of a million did not actually come to the table, and then it has with almost monotonous regularity been here on the table, but not for a few games. Are you about to become our first ever quarter millionaire? More to the point, do you have the courage to get there? That last no deal was courageous. This box opening, really important. You need this all blue round. And it'll be completed right after the break. Hi, Stella here again.
welcome back to Laura's game. The last time the quarter of a million came to the table was last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it's made the journey again. It certainly is still in play. And now with this selection, we do not want to find it. Where do you want to go to complete the round? to my best friends, Nicola. Nicola, keep it an all blue round, please. Here we go, honey. I really hope, I really hope this is blue. I really hope this is blue. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. the all blue round that we needed. There it is. Fantastic. <laughs> an all blue round at exactly the right time. I knew I could rely on Nick. Fascinating game. You could be onto something wonderful here. Hello. Whether you remember this game, you might have watched it before you came here. Um, it was a long time ago. We had a player called Debbie, and Debbie went at 15,000 as the offer, and she had the quarter of a million. And it was a massive victory for the banker, record breaking victory for him. And what he's now doing is offering you the opportunity to go one better. The offer is £14,999. It's an uncomfortable thing to consider, but if you actually do have the quarter of a million in box six and you take that offer, you would go into the Hall of Fame as the person who threw away the most amount of money ever in the history of the game. You are one pound short of 15,000. Is that attractive? Very. <laughs> it's a good offer. Good enough to start the car? Oh, I don't know. I'm looking at some advice. Yes, of course. Dennis. Um, tough one. Really, really tough. What would you do? For me, there'd be another deal in there. And Craig, you always say you never walk if the biggie's there. Mm -hmm. Never walk. I would never do that. What else can we do to make this easier? <clears throat> OK, if you would deal, can you stand up? I'm the chicken. Oh, I think I would. It's real money law. It's nearly a year's wages. It's your holiday with your sister. But I don't want to tell you that because if there's 250 on there, <laughs> you've bought the wrong friend. Did you really come here just to get 14 grand? It's a lot of money though, isn't it? Oh, I know it is. You're young enough and ambitious enough to earn. 15 grand in there within the next few years. The money that's on that board could change your life. Yeah. We do a big win. We all do a big win. And nobody like to, nobody more. We'd like to see you do it. Laura, it's it's a good board. It is a good board. It's a gamble, but I personally think it's worth it. It will be worth it for me. I like I would like to see somebody get that 250. Okay. Yes. Laura, fourteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs>
Right, we're now going to prove that was really wise <laughs> by opening three boxes and not discovering the home of 50,000 and a quarter of me. 18, Elton. Good luck. Concentrate, concentrate. Concentrate, stay focused. Bunny, 13. OK, Bunny, another blue, please. You've got a choice of three. Take both of them. Don't touch either. Stuart, 20. Not 50, not quarter of a million. Open it. Oh, wow. If you thought the last deliberation was difficult, this is just about to get worse. It would have been a lot easier if the 50 had stayed there. But that round had a sting in the tail. Hello. thinks the 50,000 has saved him a lot of money. He likes you. I thought he was going to say, ditch the chicken. <laughs> no, he really likes you. Does he? He, yes, he'd like you to come and advise every player. Because I'm a wimp. <laughs> he thinks you're saving him a lot of money. The offer to you now is £19,999. <laughs> has he made it easy, though, or has he made it difficult? Difficult. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> it's an all or nothing, isn't it? It's a total all or nothing board. You feeling lucky? Uh, no. No. It's a huge, huge gamble, Laura. Oh. <sighs> right, guys. Nick. For you, honey pie, I miss you desperately, but I think it's time for you to go because I'd hate to see you go without anything. Interesting, interesting. Dennis? Your fallback's not good enough, I, I don't think. Um, I, I don't think your fallback's good enough. Feeling anything off that box? I'm feeling good one from that one. What do you feel about that one? There's 250,000 in that one. She has been right in the past. She has been very, very accurate with her feelings. And we have been in a cycle recently where it has been coming to the table quite often. Are you there? <laughs> How bad would you feel if you lost that? I know, I know. Feeling positive though and I'm feeling lucky. Laura, we have reached a really important point. Sarah believes the quarter of a million is sitting here. Everybody else wants you to deal. Gaynor has told us about your personal circumstances. This is incredibly dangerous. Do be very, very careful. OK. 
Laura. Brace yourself. <coughs> Laura, nineteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Take your time. We're all with you. We want to believe that Sarah is right. But box number six contains a quarter of a million. Laura, good luck. Your first box is... Jasmine, 17. Thank you, Jasmine. Dan, it's you. <laughs> Third box, three thousand pounds or seven hundred and fifty pounds. Craig, 14. Craig, it's you. The man who says, as long as the quarter mill is there, you always go on, you would be in this position. Please keep our hopes alive. We have waited for over 350 shows to create a quarter millionaire. We're nearly there. Craig, open box 14. Keep it going. Yucky ducky. for grabbing the moment and saying that you will never sit in that chair again. You've been rewarded, but how big a moment have you grabbed? He now has to take you very, very seriously. You might be about to relieve the banker of a quarter of a million pounds and do something that nobody else has done in the history of the game. This next offer is going to give you the most massive problem. <laughs> I, I don't even know where he's going to go with this. If we had one of the other really big numbers there, it would be easier to call this, but... He has to fear you. He has to fear the fact that Gain has been giving you the, the sober treatment. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not blaming you. You've, you've played a good role. It's been great because she's ignored you. <laughs> most people <Sorry>. do. <laughs> but on this Sunday, you are giving us the most memorable game. And I thank you for that. It's not easy. <laughs> I'm sure it's not easy and it's about to get even more difficult. Welcome to your nightmare. Fifty thousands in your box. 
Sarah believes box number six has got the quarter mil. Five is so... He doesn't think you've got the courage to go on. He's trying to get a box that could contain a quarter of a million for 45,000. Just park the initial surprise at the offer and remember that 45,000 is a lot of money. A lot of money. What can we do to help you? Craig. What should I do? <laughs> I was expecting a better offer than that. After that last round, you were brave enough to go on after us. I can't tell you how much I want to pull the seal on that box and make her a quarter millionaire. I've waited over a year for this moment, but I don't want to influence you. £45,000 is chunky money in anybody's life. <laughs> we are so, so close. I do a quick sweep. Yeah. Just what you think I should do, just deal or no deal. Just okay. those words. No great long words. What do you think she should do, deal or no deal? Deal. Deal. Andrew? Deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. 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 You've come this far, sweetie. No deal. Come on. Deal. 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 No deal. 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 No deal. Deal. No deal. Deal. Well, that's helped. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone wants to leave, you're free to leave now. <laughs> Laura, £45,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> have one hug. I oh. think I think you are one heck of a gutsy lady. I really oh, think you're you. Hello. 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 You may of course have the swap if you wish. My dad is the most important person in my life, and that's his birthday. So, can I swap? I've only been in this position twice before. With Morris and with Kirsty. It didn't work for them. I really, really hope this is going to work for you. I hope you are about to be our first quarter millionaire.
Well, you've choked me up completely <laughs> because uh, I wondered why you kept kissing the ring, but that's your late mother's wedding ring. Yeah. Thank you. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. It couldn't happen to a more wonderful <laughs> person. Thank you. And there's something about you as well, Sarah. You predicted it. Uh, Catherine, would you kindly open box 22 and, and, and give us the most wonderful anticlimax? <laughs> <laughs> Will you please open the box? Well done, Laura. I'm so yeah. glad it was you. Thank you. Now, I always, always wondered what I'd do at this particular moment. Um, you the... my target. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> actually, actually, that is very relevant because when you were up there celebrating, I sneaked a look. Mm. And bearing in mind that she declined £19,999, mm. have a look. Her target was £1 more. Oh. Right? She only wanted £20,000. <laughs> so it makes, it makes saying no deal... 45 even more incredible um, I have no brief for this but uh, these boxes are just so sought after and whenever they leave this place they're always guarded there's always somebody with them and even when I've been to award shows and taken a box there's somebody with a box but hey this is your box oh, thank you. <laughs> congratulations thank you. Laura our first ever Quarter millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh. oh my word! I think it's going to be a bit of a party tonight. <laughs> One thousand, two thousand, and ten thousand are the sums of money sitting in our viewers' boxes. Did you enjoy that? Oh, it was fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And extraordinarily yes. emotional. Terribly emotional. I feel like I know you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're trying to get in now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know your name, I'm sorry. My name is Karen. Karen. OK, Karen, well, you were here the day we created our first quarter millionaire, so that's something for all fans of the show. And I just need you to say one, two or three. Number three, please, now. OK. So... Would you please open box number three? 10,000! <laughs> this has got to be the luckiest, most wonderful Sunday. Would you please open the other two? 1,000 there, 2,000 there. Oh, enjoy your 10,000 and um, enjoy your quarter of a minute. so long in the coming and this is going to be magic we are going to have the most sensational party this evening so at last lovely Laura has actually done what everybody had tried, hoped, dreamt about but didn't quite get there she had the right set of circumstances and she had the courage to grab her moment on Deal or No Deal Fabulous, fabulous show. I bet it's really touched you. And you know the most wonderful thing about this show? We meet again tomorrow, and there is no reason why we shouldn't do it again. And that's why you'll be back. I'm off to the party. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Well, how do you follow that? How about with the world's biggest treasure hunt? The search begins in Venice next. <laughs>